These retrofit boxes are commonly known as old work boxes that are designed to fit into finished walls or ceilings. The main intent of these boxes is to add a much needed receptacle or a light switch as an afterthought. It looks like when they went to plastic, they gave the plastic a, a similar steel or gray color. Inside, there are box fill indicators stamped as volume allowances and cubic inches to help formulate the volume taken by wiring devices, fittings, and how many wires is one too many. The Cantex, simply enough, you're just able to use a Phillips screwdriver, where with the Carlin, you get a little more options. You can use your combo tip screwdriver, even a flathead seems to stay in its place if you if you already have work to screw already in um, because if you go to the bottom where a spot that I haven't really worked out too much when you come over to reach with the Carlin it gets in there pretty 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 darn close your wiring devices will fit perfectly on both of these boxes, they'll sit nice and flush and your wall plates won't pop out. Same thing here. There's this little bridge in between these two flaps here. So the idea of the bridge is that it will allow me to make some pretty straight lines without having to have any offsets like this template that's designed for this Cantex box. I have a piece of drywall. And I'm just gonna get this box real quick. Draw a line on, on the top of this bridge here, right across. And from the top of this tab, I'm just gonna get to the, underneath the bottom of this tab here. And I'm just gonna make my way down to the other end. And on the bottom side of the box, I'm gonna draw another line. And I have a pretty good idea of where my lines connect. So when I'm ready to use my jab saw or my oscillating tool, be pretty easy. If you lose your template, it wouldn't be possible to flip this box over and trace it around the drywall. It's you're gonna really mess things up. So instead, it's a lot easier if you get a piece of paper and make your own template. A tab here. I'll start from the bottom of it. Then I'll just simply I'll get my scissor. Flip this over, right front, and now I have something very similar to my factory cutout. Now I'll be able to work with my mock-up template. Looks like the newer revised version of the 14 inch Cantex box has also been redesigned to have the, the bridge. 
that makes it easier for your installation. You don't have to play around with these things. Unlike the standard, there are heavy duty variants with thicker walls, sometimes called heavy wall. Colin is calling this one super blue. This newer gardener bender has a nice texture surface so it doesn't slip out of your hands. You don't struggle when you're turning these, they just go in very easily. It has these concave screw holes where it seems to make it easy for you to start your device screws. There's even this 16 cubic inch Slater box by Legrand that has these metal wings or flap tabs. It reaches further out for those thicker walls. So even though there are bigger boxes, there's a slight little advantage here. There's even this smart box from Southwire. And this one's a hybrid. It has these screws inside instead of the nails on the outside. So if you were dealing with open studs, you could just simply attach that directly to it and get your drill. If your wall's finished and you already know where your stud is, you could just simply insert this box and just run those screws. Here's retrofit boxes for fixtures. This one has the wings. And it's a smart box with a shock tooth design. A nice 16, so a 14 millimeter should get things turning. There's even a hybrid round box for fixtures and it can be used for new construction or to retrofit old work. Need a little more strength? There's this fan and fixture box that has bigger screws, three of them, your proper 10 by 32s to hold the fan, and this steel bracket to hold everything together. Moving on to the steel, some boxes have built-in clamps to secure an amp cable. Others can secure armor cable. And you can remove the knockouts, especially for those without the built-in features. There's screws to hold your conductors to make adjustments. And these boxes are gangable, so you can take apart the walls. They also come with wings on the side. If you don't have the wings, you can use these support mounting brackets, which I like to call Madison straps, and they usually come apart by putting them outward like this. Or you can take the side walls from here and place them on this box. By removing the side walls, you can also gang them together.
Don't forget to be good. Maybe we looked at one too many retrofit boxes and I think that's it. I hope you like this video. Feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll keep making more content for you. Thanks for watching and until next time.